everyone, welcome back to the second channel. We're back at it again, guys. Two weeks in a row of two videos on the same day. What can I say? I'm a changed man. I've taken consistency to the next level. Before, I was struggling to upload once a week. Now I'm uploading two times in one day. So yeah, if you couldn't already tell, guys, I've just uploaded a new video on the main channel, so go check that out, because once again, just like last week's video, this video is going to be kind of a continuation of that. And this is going to be kind of like a behind the scenes, a little bit of extra content of stuff that didn't make it into the video that I want to react to and show you guys. Because this specific room went very, very crazy to the point where it wasn't even a rumor and it actually became news. Yeah, if you haven't seen the video, go watch it now, otherwise it's gonna be spoilers. But yeah, basically, as you guys will know, if you saw the first video first, this rumor is all about Pedro Pascal being in the Minecraft movie. Something that's not true. However, if you literally search on Google right now, Pedro Pascal Minecraft, in fact, you don't even have to search that. If you literally just search Minecraft the movie, look what comes up. First thing you see, cast Jason Momoa, Pedro Pascal, and Matt Berry. However, Pedro Pascal is not going to be in the film. This is all completely fake. This is all down to me. Well, I think so anyway. There is a possibility that this actually could be true, and Pedro Pascal is going to be in the Minecraft movie. And I just somehow magically managed to predict this and leak this like two years in advance. Which, as I said, it could be the case. Pedro Pascal could actually be in the Minecraft movie. However, the reason he's on IMDb right here is all down to me. And if you saw the main channel video, you'll know how. Yeah, today I want to show you guys a little bit extra stuff that didn't really make it into the video. As I said, this rumor went crazy. Not so much in Twitter numbers. But let's actually go on to Twitter right now. Also, speaking of Twitter, I see all of you guys trying to follow the Likely Pop account, but don't worry. As I said in the last video, it's private. So yeah, as the bio says, it's going to be private until the final video is out, just because I don't want to leak what the rumors are. Then you guys won't watch my video because you'll know what the rumors already are. But yeah, enough of that. Today we're talking about the second rumor, which is the Pedro Pascal Minecraft one. Now, the difference between this rumor and the Jackson Wang one, the Jackson Wang one went crazy on Twitter. It got 300,000 views on the Likely Pop account and it went viral on Twitter. However, this rumor didn't really do that. This is the original tweet. As you can see, it got 5,441 views, which can Considering the account literally had about 100 followers at the time, it's not bad, but it's also not great in terms of virality, if that's the word virality. Basically, it didn't go viral on my account. We got 11 retweets and 21 likes, but that's really all that happened with that. And as you guys saw in the video, I did try to push it through other social medias, which didn't really work. But what I didn't show you was I kept trying to push this on Twitter. Literally, I did so many tweets to the point where it was kind of obvious that I really wanted this rumor to go viral. For example, we got this one here. Pedro Pascal, known for his role in The Last of Us, will portray the lead character, Steve. Steve is the full player in Minecraft, blah, 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 blah. So yeah, I was really trying to push this. We got another one here. Literally just another quote. Another one here. I was trying to do everything I could. Look guys, this is how hard it is being a catfish. A lot of people comment on the last video being like, wait, you recorded this in May? Why are you uploading in October? How does it take you this long to make a video? This is why it takes me so long because catfishing is not easy. I really had to use my brain and try and think of different ways to do this. And the key thing about being a catfish is never to give up because with this, I literally nearly did give up. In fact, I kind of actually did give up, but I'll tell you a bit more about that later. So yeah, I did loads of tweets. I think the 5,000 view one was the most popular one that I did. But yeah, none of the tweets had as many views as the Jackson Wang rumor, which was weird because the Jackson Wang rumor went very, very viral on Twitter and got a lot of people talking. However, that was it. It didn't go anywhere else. There was no articles. There was no TikToks. No one was really talking about it. However, with this one, it didn't really go massively viral on Twitter. However, I think just because of the fact it's on IMDb and it actually comes up on Google now, people are slowly finding out about this and being like, what is going on? How did I not know this? For example, this tweet right here, Pedro Pascal being cast as Steve in the Minecraft movie is my new religion. But sorry to break it to you, it's not true. This one's got 3,000 views. We've got another one here. Pedro Pascal is playing Steve in the Minecraft movie. So yeah, with this, there's not been like a singular tweet that just blew up and went viral on Twitter. It's just been a lot of people slowly realizing it and being like, how is this happening? How is this real? What's going on? And honestly, I think this way actually has made people believe it more just because there's not been a big thing where it's like, Pedro Pascal's gonna do the Minecraft movie. The fact they're all finding out very, very slowly. It's just kind of in the back of everyone's head. And then when someone mentions it to them, they'll be like, oh, yeah, I heard that. I saw it on Google. I saw it on IMDb. I saw it on Twitter. It must be true. But once again, it's not true. See, honestly, this is the great thing about this series because originally I was going to just try and put them all into one video. I was like, each rumor is so complex, so different and took so long. I think they all deserve their own video. And you guys will see that with the third part too. That one is actually the biggest rumor of all. But yeah, as for this one, you guys will know from the video, I paid to have an article written. And here it is, Pedro Pascal to start in the Minecraft movie, written by Hector Morgan, which we all know that's not true. It was written by me. Guys, I'm a journalist now, all right? I guess Hector Morgan was the guy that published it, although I think he's American because this thing is called New York Weekly, but here's a weird thing. As you can see, Hector is a seasoned journalist with a focus on business and politics. He holds a degree in economics from Boston University. So yeah, basically he's American, however, the Fiverr listing, right? They're from India. So yeah, that really confused me because I wasn't directly speaking to this guy, but I'm guessing he knew this guy in India that helps him get articles in his website that they pay for. I don't really know. So yeah, that was very weird. An English person being me contacted an Indian person being the guy from Fiverr, who then contacted an American person, this guy, who then posted on New York Weekly. A very long chain, but we got on there in the end anyway. And as the article, I didn't really show much of this in the video just because it's very long. It's kind of boring as well. Basically for the article, a lot of it is just a lot of history of the Minecraft movie. 
movie. And then I just kind of sprinkled in there that Pedro Pascal is going to be Steve. I'm not going to read the whole thing. If you want to read the whole thing, go check it out yourself. If it's still up, they're, they're probably going to delete it. I'm not going to lie because they're going to realize they got catfish. Basically, it just says Pedro Pascal is set to star alongside Jason Moa in the highly anticipated Minecraft live action movie. Scheduled for release in 2025. Minecraft the movie is currently in pre-production and has announced that Pedro Pascal, known for his role in The Last of Us, will portray the lead character Steve. Steve is a default player in Minecraft franchise, leading to many to assume he'll be the main protagonist in the upcoming movie. And then I just gave a little bit of history about Pedro Pascal, the stuff he's been in and stuff like that. And then it all sort of went into the Minecraft history. It's actually what I got plagiarized on. I showed that in the video so you guys saw what the difference was in the plagiarism. But I don't know where I got it from. I'm pretty sure I got it from like some Minecraft Wikipedia page. Oh, this was it. Fandom. Minecraft the movie, Minecraft Wiki. So yeah, basically I copied a lot of stuff from this. I tried to put in my own words. But clearly as you saw in the video, I didn't do it very well because it still came up as plagiarized. Like this was the part I saw about Vubu saying it was in early stages of development, blah, 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 blah. As you guys saw in the video, they did not care that I plagiarized it. They literally just changed it for me, which was just crazy in itself. Yeah, as for the rest of the article, it's all pretty much just about the Minecraft movie and just the history of it. Because this movie is actually very controversial. Like when did it get announced? It got announced, I think in like 2014. Yeah, so on February 27th, 2014, Notch, the creator of Minecraft, he tweeted out saying someone is trying to leak the fact that we're working with Warner Bros on a potential Minecraft movie. I want it to be the leak. So he actually leaked his own movie. And that was back in 2014, literally nine years ago and then they finally moved the date to 2025 literally 11 years after the announcement how crazy is that imagine me announcing a video today and then releasing it in 11 years time i know my videos don't take as long as movies but this is insane see honestly if you've got some time and you're interested in the minecraft movie go read this article it's actually pretty good maybe i actually should become a journalist because i actually enjoyed writing this although i did have some help from chat gpt so i guess i'm not that good but i think this is a pretty good article and it gives you a good little history of the minecraft movie and also tricks you into thinking Pedro pascal is going to be in it but speaking of plagiarism as you guys saw in the video the first article that written about this that wasn't from me was from a website called Bebom. As you guys saw in the main channel video, this is the article, and I did show you a little bit in that where they copied me. This part here where it says, according to a source close to Pascal, the actor was initially reluctant to join this super delayed movie, but got on board after reading the script. Now, as I said in the video, that's completely copied to me. This close source to Pedro Pascal was literally me. I made this up. No one ever said this, and the only other place they could have got this from was my article. And I didn't show this in the main channel video, but this whole article is literally inspired by my article, which is just crazy, because I have no qualifications to be writing articles. However, I've inspired an actual journalist to write an article based on my article which i had to pay to get released whereas this journalist here has pretty much got paid to copy my article maybe i actually should become a journalist once again i'm not going to read the whole article to you you can go check out yourself if it's still up they probably are going to take it down though because as you can see here it says pedro pascal is going to be in the film he's not it's all a lie but literally this wasn't the only thing they stole from me they literally stole the whole history stuff from me as you can see we received the first clue about minecraft the movie on february 27th 2014 when notch the creator of minecraft posted on twitter that he wanted to share the news that mojang was working with warner bros on the movie rumors about the movie first surfaced on february 27th 2014 we're not the creator of minecraft blah 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 that's exactly the same thing so they pretty much plagiarized my whole article probably just enough to pass the plagiarism test i mean to be fair i did that as well so they're not really copying me we're all just copying each other however look at this this is the thing that actually confirmed this to me right at the end of the article well let me just show you mine first so my one in conclusion whether we will see a minecraft the movie is a question that reigns unanswered until april 4th 2025 however as the saying goes third time's a charm because this is the third release date the movie's had the other two both got postponed so i was like third time's a charm hopefully it actually comes out this time however look what this article says. So, mark your calendars and pray that it doesn't get pushed back any further. We've already waited close to 10 years. Third time's a charm, eh? Oh, third time's a charm, is it? Where have I heard that before? Yeah, this is actually quite an interesting insight about journalism. Like, is this genuinely just what journalists do? They see other articles and then just kind of rewrite it themselves. Because remember back last year where I did the Facebook trolling video where I had the ring doorbell footage and kicked the parcel? One website wrote about it, then suddenly website after website after website started publishing the same articles. So yeah, that was really weird. I didn't realize journalism worked like that. But I guess it is kind of like YouTube in a way. If you see a video doing well for some people, then you're gonna try and do a similar sort of thing and get inspired by that. So yeah, that was an interesting thing to see because a lot of the articles did do that. Like once the first one came out, the B-bomb one, after that just website after website after website started publishing the same sort of thing. All inspired by me, which I guess I should be quite proud of. Someone that has no journalistic experience. He's literally inspiring journalists all over the world. And not just that, I'm also catfishing them at the same time. So yeah, it's all pretty crazy. I'm not gonna lie. But yeah, this room out of volume took the longest. This one genuinely took me about two or three weeks. It seemed a lot shorter in the video just because I was trying to keep the pace up. However, I did actually try and do another rumor in between this rumor and the last rumor, which is not gonna make it to the video, sadly. However, it was kind of a collab. So if you want to check it out, it was about Taylor Swift. I saw a lot of your comments and a lot of you saw it on Jack Gordon's channel. He basically did a video where he tried to trick Taylor Swift fans with a fake AI song. This video right here, go check it out. It's actually a good video. And I actually featured in it because he actually asked me to help him because he was having struggle pushing it out to the audiences and getting them to believe it. So he came to me as the biggest catfish. He was like, if anyone can do this, it's you. So originally that was actually going to be the third and final rumor. However, it didn't go too well. It was very hard to push it out. People knew it was AI. I did get a lot of people talking about it. However, it wasn't enough to make a whole video on it. And actually, interestingly enough, in the main channel video where I'm like, guys, I give up. 
up. Pedro Pascal's fans are not believing this. It's not doing well. I wasn't just saying that to be dramatic. I genuinely did give up because I saw Jack message me and I was like, okay, I'm going to leave this one here. It's not working. It's not going anywhere. You saw how many tweets I did. No one seemed to care. This was before the IMDb and all the articles happened. So I was just like, I'll take an L on this rumor. I'll still upload it because there's a lot going on, but we'll show that not all rumors actually work. So I then went through the Taylor Swift stuff, tried to push that for like a week or two, which as I said, kind of did work. It wasn't enough for me to make a video. Jack still got the video. As I said, go check that out if you want to. So yeah, whilst I was doing the Taylor Swift stuff, I left the Pedro Pascal stuff alone. I didn't touch it. And then once I realized I wasn't really gonna be able to get a full video out of the Taylor Swift stuff, I was like, come on, I need to do something with this Pedro Pascal one. How can I push this more? And that's where I got the idea for the IMDb page, which literally was a game changer it changed everything actually you know what i actually want to try something right now i've just had an idea because basically as you guys saw in the video i paid for the article that didn't really do much then i got an imdb and that did loads i did send imdb the article to prove to them that pedro pascal was going to be in a minecraft movie oh a part of me does wonder do you think i actually needed to pay for that article like could i have just gone straight onto imdb and added pedro pascal that way without any evidence this actually gives me an idea so basically what i want to do is as you guys saw in the video i claimed that i was the director of sonic the hedgehog so what i'm going to try and do is i'm going to try and add my credit into the imdb credits i'm not going to say i was a director just because i think they'll know but should I add me somewhere on here? Where should I add myself? Right, we're gonna go for art department just because that's what the George Mason that we selected did before. And let's add the name George Mason. Right, now I've got to pick the occupation. And one that's sticking out to me is this one, art assistant director. I did say I was a director, so let's click that. Thank you for your contribution. The information you supplied is being processed by a team. So yeah, now all I can really do is wait and see if that gets accepted. If it doesn't, I'll put on screen right now. If it does, I'll come in as myself in the future. All right, so it's now the next day. I'm not gonna lie, I didn't think I was gonna come back here because I didn't think they would actually accept this. But the fact I'm recording this right now means they did. Literally right now, if we search Sonic the Hedgehog, the original film, we go all the way down to all cast and crew. And then we go down, 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 down. And then we look for our assistant art director. And here he is, George Mason is officially a director of Sonic the Hedgehog. I did not realize this was this easy. I'm not gonna lie, I didn't actually think this work just based off the fact that the film's out and the credits are out and I'm not in the credits but they still put me on the IMDb. This actually makes me ask the question that if I didn't buy the article and I just put Pedro Pascal was going to be in the film do you think they would have accepted it? I don't know I would like to think they wouldn't have just so it means I haven't wasted £120 on an article but at the same time that was very easy literally the next day they accepted it. So yeah I'm not now just a journalist who writes articles I'm also a director of Sonic the Hedgehog. But yeah I'm going to go back to my previous self enjoy the rest of the video and don't ever refer to me as a YouTuber again I'm either a journalist or a director. Get it right but yeah guys as that that's gonna be the end of this video i hope you have enjoyed a little bit of extra footage and just a little bit more in depth of what we actually did there is gonna be one more of these videos next week on the final episode so get ready for that and if you don't enjoy these videos then i'm sorry we'll be back to normal videos after that but yeah guys i hope you have enjoyed if you have make sure you smash the thumbs up button let me know what you thought down below Please subscribe for new videos every single sunday guys it's been george mason peace out over and out goodbye